done this sort of thing before. Me? Of course. I've been looting and pillaging up and down the coast. Looting and pillaging, eh? Yes. What about the raping? Shut up. Well, it's obvious you haven't raped anyone in your life. Shh. women. I love them. You don't love me. Well, no, I don't. Mind you, I'm not saying I couldn't get to like you. As a matter of fact, I actually prefer it if there's some sort of mutual feeling between two people. Well, rape. Well, no. Obviously, then it wouldn't be rape, then, would it? <laughs> get it over with. I don't suppose that you... No. No. What? I don't suppose that, um... You... You do like me at all? What do you expect? You come in here, burn my village, kill my family, and try to rape me! You don't like it, do you? Well, I just think it's a little bit crude, that's all. What about all the killing and looting? That's just as crude, isn't it? Well, you have to do them. Why? Why have you got to go around killing and looting all the time? To pay for the next expedition, of course. But that's a circular argument. If the only reason for the expedition is the killing and looting, and the only reason for the killing and looting is to pay for the next expedition, they cancel each other out. Stop talking as if we're married. Well, you started it. Well, I just said I didn't feel like raping you. And I was just saying that rape is no more pointless and crude than all the killing and looting. <laughs> Standing up. You finished then? I suppose so. Right. Yeah. Hey.
thought of converting, my dear. Now would be an ideal opportunity. Not now. No, of course not. No. Uh, but uh, you might not get another chance. Go away. Right. Uh, I'll uh, <clears throat> pray for you, my dear. Yeah, yes, that's what I'll do, dear. I'll pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let her go! Why? Why should we let her go? We haven't hit a single braid yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife! That showed her! <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, we're missing the fun, huh? What's it all about, Grandpa? What? Well, we toil and labor, we loot and pillage, we rape and kill, and, and yet, why are you talking this prayerful, son? Where does it all get us, Grandpa? Who you been talking to? I met this girl. Woman. There's always a woman who causes all the trouble. She got me thinking. So? What'd you do to her? I killed her. That's my boy. <laughs> Freya! 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 the Viking. What can you want with me, Eric the Viking? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come. Afraid they will make fun of you for listening to an old woman's stories? <laughs> Young men only interested in fighting and killing. Yes. But has it always been like that? Since the beginning of time. What do you see, Eric? I see the world. Is it night or day, Eric? Well, it is day, of course, friend. Is it winter or summer, Eric? Winter is past, it is summer. Have you ever seen the sun, Eric? No, I 
bird is up beyond the clouds where it always is. But have you ever seen it, Eric? Of course not. tell of an age that would come such as this, when Fenrir the wolf would swallow the sun and a great winter would settle on the world. It was to be an axe age, a sword age, a storm age, when brother would turn against brother and men would fight each other until the world was finally destroyed. Wait, Freya. Is there nothing men can do? The gods are asleep, Eric. Well, I will go and wake them up then. Tell me what I must do. Eric. Far out in the midst of the Western Ocean, there is a land. Men call it High Brazil. There you will find a horn. This horn is called resounding. You must take the horn resounding and three times you must blow it. The first note will take you to Asgard. The second note will awaken the gods. And the third note will bring you home. But remember, Eric, once you are in the spell of the horn, Hatred will destroy you. Will the dead ever return, Freya? That I cannot tell you. Thorfinn just said that Sven's grandfather died of old age. Yeah. He must fight to the death. That's right. Sven must kill me. Aren't yes. you afraid of death, Thorfinn Skorsbrand? Not death by the sword. Means I shall drink in Valhalla with the great warriors. You don't believe in this Valhalla nonsense, do you? Go away. Fine. Fine. Just check it. And you, Sven, aren't you afraid of crossing the Rainbow Bridge to Asgard? I will join my grandfather there. He's not in Valhalla! He died of old age. You There's only one way to settle it. He must kill me! Who gets killed? Nobody gets killed. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll be dangerous. Maybe none of us will return. Oh, well, that's much more sensible than just Thorfinn getting killed. Should we all go and pack now? What are you talking about, Eric? What if we could find Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge? Find the Rainbow Bridge? Find it and cross it. Look, you can't find somewhere that doesn't exist. Shut up. Right? Well, only the dead reach Asgard, Eric. Well, what's the matter? Are you afraid to try? Of course we're not afraid to try, but... But what? But what? Nobody's ever crossed the Rainbow Bridge to Asgard. Well, we'd be the first. You mean we'd be dead? No, we would be the first living men to set foot in the halls of the gods. But how? I don't know. But I'm not 
not afraid to try. Well, I'm not afraid of anything. No, neither am I. Then you'll come. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. You could charge health down 15 for that one. Yes, it is good, isn't it? But I told him 10, Loki. <laughs> you charge him what you like. <laughs> you just can't make enough swords and spears and knives and daggers to satisfy <laughs> the demand. You could charge health down 20 for that and he'd pay. Oh, I couldn't do that. Blacksmith's code says that I must. Yes, yes, of course. Blacksmith's code. If this is the age of Ragnarok, Kettle Blacksmith, it is good to us. <laughs> Can't make enough swords. Can't make enough axe heads. But Kettle, if Eric ever finds the wall resounding, if he ever crosses Bifrost the Rainbow Bridge, if he ever wakens the gods. Chase Fenrir the wolf from the sky. The age of Ragnarok ends and... The bottom falls out of the sword business. And it's not just your livelihood at stake, but your sons and, well, the livelihood of all blacksmiths. My brother blacksmiths. That's right. And the blacksmith's code says that we must honor and protect all blacksmiths. Together we stand. You just can't let Eric do that. Both yes, mother. There's something to sharpen them with. Yes, mum. Don't forget. Never let your enemy get behind you. No, mother. Keep your sword greased. Yes, mother. Goodbye, Dad. Don't forget to wash. You know, all over. No, Dad. And if you have to kill somebody, kill them. Don't stop to think about it. I never do. Oh, it's a tradition. I know, Dad. You told me. I was a berserk. But King Harold Fairhair. You went berserk? I with... went berserk. In every battle I ever fought for King Harold. So did your father. So he... did my father. And his father before him. But it's a responsibility. But be... It's a responsibility. Being a berserk. I must only let you the must red only let the red rage take hold of you in the thick of battle. I know! I've heard it all a thousand times! No, no. No, no, no. You'll never make a berserk if you let it out. Now you'll have nothing left for battle. Besides, it's dangerous. The end of a family tradition. Sorry. Yeah, well... You will wait. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> Take this for luck. That's what they call me. Leave the lucky. Please. You come in. You don't even believe in Asgard. No. But I do hope to do a little business on the way. Wasting your time. Listen. I have been in this dump for 16 years, and I have not made a single convert in all that time. There was Thorbjorn Vivilson's wife. You converted her. Thorbjorn Vivilson's wife became a Buddhist, not a Christian. Same thing, isn't it? No. It is not.
Well, we'll be off now. Say something a little more than that. Oh, uh, right, um... Uh... Mom... Uh... Don't be sad. You all know why we're going, so don't grieve. Maybe untold dangers do lie ahead of us, and, and some of you may well be looking at the ones you love for the last time, but, but don't grieve. You see, even if the hordes of Muspel tear us limb from limb, or the fire giants burn each and every one of us to a cinder, even if we are swallowed by the dragon of the North Sea, or if, if we fall off the edge of the world, don't cry. No, no, don't cry. It's all fantasy. There is no edge of the world. There is no dragon of the North Sea. That's what you say! What's the matter with that? Say something cheerful. Well, um, cheers, everybody! I don't want you to go! I don't want me to go either! Oh, God. Please, everybody, keep calm. Listen, it's, it's not certain all of us are going to die. In any case, we may not die hideous deaths. We must be going. Right, um, farewell, and for the last time, may the God... Don't say anything else. Wait, Eric. You can't go without me. Who will sharpen your swords and mend your shields? Oh, no! You want him too? What's the matter now? If Kettle Blacksmith goes with you, we'll have no one to do the things he did for us. I'll sharpen our knives and mend our pans. Well, you have Loki, Kettle's assistant, to do all that. Loki? Hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the matter with Loki? He's become quite good at blacksmithing. Well, yes, but he's so small and... Oh, yes! We've got Loki, that's true. Two, what's going on? I was sitting there. I know you were. At least sitting here. I need a bit of luck. Look, I packed it last week. It doesn't matter where you sit. Yes, it does. We could be here safe for months. But what difference does it make where you're sitting? I am not sitting behind Snorri all that time. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, stop it. So nice to feel wanted. Shan, sit back there. I think you better sit here and Harold will sit here. Trust me to get the missionary. What are you doing here? You might need a real berserk. I am one, Dan. But we haven't got a spare place. He, he can have my place. I don't really want to go anyway. Well, you are. We could have Bjorn's place. Bjorn's not coming. What's the matter with Bjorn? I've done the black chopped off both his hands last night. <laughs> he was lucky. Well, sit there. You can't have Sven's dad sitting next to Sven. They'll argue the whole time. Oh, that's true. Um. Uh, Sven, sit behind Thorfinn. And you sit there, and you sit there, and you sit there. Now you've got all the big ones on one side. All right, um... Um, Thangbrand sit where Ornolf is. Ornolf sit where Ulf is. Ulf sit where Thangbrand was. Ragnar, sit behind Thorfinn. Thorfinn, stay where you are. I want to sit next to Leif. Shut up. Sven, switch with Snorri. Snorri, sit behind Sven. Kettle, sit here. Harold, there. Leif, there. Bajarni, there. Now you've got all the ones with beards on one side and all the moustaches on the other. That doesn't matter. Eric, hmm. wait. Here, son. 
father always made sure he could rest his head at night. I can't take that on a voyage. It was your father's. It was the pillow he took with him. Well, he said it once saved his life. Please. To speak to hunt down the black. It's too busy. I have money. See? Come ah! along, Hecatin. I'm not an unreasonable man, thought Anderson, but this is the second chance that I've given you. But I'm a poor man, sir. Yes, but it's not just me, you see. A lot of people depend on this money. I really can't give you a third chance. I'm so sorry. Uh, would you behead him, please? Oh, no! Take all my sheep! All of them! Oh, that's a good idea. Take all his sheep. <laughs> Only they'd think ahead. I really wish they would. Ah, the blacksmith's assistant from Ravensfjord. Garrot him, would you? No, 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 no! I will die. My lord Halfdan the Black. You brought me more swords. I bring more than swords. I bring a warning from my master. A warning? No. <laughs> uh, Played them both alive. No, it's a mistake! No, it's a mistake! No, no! Eric and the men of Ravensfjord are setting off to cross the Western Ocean. Lucky things. I could do with a holiday. I could tell you all this financial work, you know. The stress really gets you. Um, flay him alive, garrot him, and then behead him. No, 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 I'm not Hildir Eisenstein. I'm the Altis Genius, and you've got the wrong man! Shh! They seek to drive Fenrir the Wolf from the sky, to waken the gods, and to bring the Age of Ragnarok to an end. End Ragnarok? Or do they think they are? Uh, just cut his hand off. Oh, thank you! Thank you, my lord! Thank you a million thank yous! I have to just tell them both of you one! I thank you very much, very much, very much. So why should you tell me all this? Because, my lord, my livelihood depends on Ragnarok. Like yours. <laughs> uh. And, of course, if anything should happen to your master, you would become blacksmith of Ravensfjord.
have a good look. That's the last we shall see of old Norway. Goodbye home. Goodbye loved ones. Goodbye lunch. Oh, shut up. <coughs> you know my son, our Lord said... Your Lord. Quite. My Lord said, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. I hope the Dragon of the North Sea gets you and your Lord. Darkness and ignorance. Darkness and ignorance. You all right? <coughs> no, I'm not. You don't need to feel bad about being seasick, you know? Well, who can you help feeling bad when you're seasick? I mean... Many of the greatest sailors were pukers. I know, I know. Olaf Trigvus oh. used to throw up on every single voyage, the whole time, non-stop. Puke, puke, puke. Look, I don't feel bad about it. I just feel ill. He used to puke in his sleep. The bastard! <laughs> No, 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 put it away. Break out the oars. What are you talking about? Break out the oars. Come on, move it. But we've only just started cooking supper. <laughs> it's off down the black. I know. Snorri, get your oar out. I suppose he wants to stop us waking the gods. What do you think? Well, how could he know it? Yes. So, you're gonna run away from him, are you, Eric? Row, Death and Skull Splitter. And you, Kettle Blacksmith. I gave an order. What didn't you hear? We'll never get anywhere if we fight. It's the world. What? We've passed through the gates of the world. Now we're in the unknown. I never thought I should live to see the sun again. Well, so that is what the sun looks like. <laughs> She's 
trying to do that. Excuse me. What are you looking at? that this book can prove most useful. You oh, straight up. Shut up and roll, you idiot! Get 
on Blacksmith. If you go, I go to Hang on! <laughs> Sing something. Anyone know any good drowning songs? Listen. Maybe we won't get to High Brazil. Maybe we won't find the horn resounding. But at least we've tried. And at least we shall have died like men. Like fish. Shut, Shut up. up. Eric's right. We'll all meet in Valhalla. Oh, I don't want to die. Look, isn't there anybody you would like to be christened before we go down? It can't do you any harm. What do we have to do? Nothing at all. I simply immerse you in water. Oh, <laughs> get lost. Right. Don't let me drown, Thorfinn. Lord, let me enter you. Please let me. Perhaps I'd rather drown. <laughs> Till we meet Valhalla. How deep is the ocean? Very deep. Usually. Wait, wait, wait! Nobody kill anybody. Clothes on. It's disgusting. Get her weapons. She hasn't got any. She must have a knife or something. What kind of place is this? Maybe they've got weapons we haven't even dreamed of. 
Let's hack her to pieces. No! Well, what else do we do? Well, how, how about making friends? Friends? Well, what's wrong with making friends? You don't go through all the hardships of an ocean voyage to make friends. We can make friends at home. Welcome. Oh. What did you say? I said you're welcome. Welcome? Well, of course. We always welcome friends. How do you know we're friends? Well, everyone's friends here on High Brazil. High Brazil? Is this High Brazil? Well, of course. <laughs> yeah! 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 Um, please, please, what are those? What are what? The, those things in your hand. These? Mm. These? What are these? Yes. They're swords. Oh, no! What? Oh, no, put them down! Oh, what? please, please, put them down! What's the matter? Oh, please, you don't know what you're doing! Oh, make them put them down! Why? Yeah, yeah why? Why? Yes. But surely you know. Uh, no. No. Know what? Well, the wonderful blessing under which we live, here in High Brazil. No, we don't. Well, the gods decreed that if ever swords spilt human blood upon these shores, the whole of High Brazil would sink beneath the waves. That's terrible. You mean if just one person gets killed, this whole place would sink? Yes. You mean he can't kill anybody? Right. Isn't it wonderful? What? Not being able to kill anybody? Well, of course. But how? Well, for a start, there's no killing. Well, obviously, there's no killing. But how do you take revenge? How do you punish people? How do you defend yourselves? We don't have to. We're all terribly nice to each other. All the time? Well, of course. We have to be. Being nice, nice to each other is what it's all about. about. You see, we're terribly nice to each other. We're friendly, bold, and free. We never say anything nasty, because we dare not. No, sorry. Would you like us to sing for you? Sing? Well, that's very kind of you, but we're in a hurry, and... What's the matter? Don't you want to hear our singing? Oh, well, yes, of course. It's just we're looking for the horn resounding, and... You don't think our singing is going to be good enough for you? No, 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 no. It's just the horn resounding well, is... A lot of people like our singing, you know? Well, I'm sure it's lovely. But you don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. We'd love to hear it, wouldn't we? Yes. yes. Well, you'll have to ask us really nicely. Uh, well, we'd... We'd be terribly grateful if you would sing for us. You're just saying that. Well, of course it is! Of, of course we're not. We would, we would genuinely like to hear you sing. Really? Really. And you're not just saying that because you think we want you to? No. Wait. Summon the musicians. We'll do the one that goes tum 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 ti tum tum. Oh. But it's not the one we're best at. Can we do the one that goes tum ti tum ti tum ti tum? Not when we've got visitors. Oh. Ah, the musicians. No, 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 it was, it was very... Uh...
Nice. Really? Mm. Well, I want you to be absolutely, totally, genuinely honest with me. Did you really, truly, honestly like it? No. <laughs> they didn't like it! Oh, my God! I want to die! Your Majesty, we come from a world where there is no music. Where Fenrir the wolf covers the sun. A world where men live and die by the axe and by the sword. Oh, well, the we must find the horn resounding. Is it here on High Brazil? I tell you what. Yes. We'll do the one that goes tum 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 ti tum tum. Perhaps you'll like that one better. <laughs> 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 no, of course not, silly. No, I mean, felt like this about them. You mean you have got into bed with somebody else? No, I mean, have you ever felt that for the first time in your life, you've met someone you really can believe in with your whole heart? Someone whose goals suddenly seem to be your goals. Whose dreams become your dreams. Have you ever been to bed with anyone else? Why would you go on about that? You felt like this before. Oh, it was, it was different. What was she like? Um, well, I didn't know her very well. Mm. But you loved her all the same. We never went to bed together. Why'd you go on about that? What does it matter? You have been to bed with somebody else, haven't you? I've never loved anybody. I've never been to bed with anybody. Lord, open up. It's my father. I know you were there. And surprise you. Right. Well, where is he? Who, father? Who? Who? Who have you got in here, of course? But there's no one, father. I smell one of those foreigners. That's who it is, isn't it? It's the fifth one this week. Fifth. Where is he? There's no one here, Father. Look for yourself. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't be a midget, Father. Ah. So you admit there could be someone here? Eh? You're losing your temper. <laughs> of course I'm not, my dear. I'd never lose my temper. Mm. Oh, yeah, more visitors. Ah, right. Come on, come out of there. Come out like a man. I know you're in there. It's all in your own mind, Father. It's you who's always imagining that I'm up here with some man or other. I don't know how you do it, or... I sometimes think you've got some of your mother's magic in you. There's no magic, Father. My mother had no magic. Oh, she did, I tell you. She could blind me as easily as the night the day. Oh, it's your fantasy. But I'll catch you, like I caught her. Cloak invisible. It was my mother's parting gift. This one this week. Oh, 
put my shirt back, please? Oh, for goodness sake. I thought you said it was something special. Eric, that's just what I'm trying mm -hmm. to tell you. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, this week, how many the week before? Oh, you're as bad as my father. And the week before that? Eric! Mm -hmm. Eric! Mm -hmm. Yes? I just want to help you to get to Asgard. Must not let him land. Mm. Half done the black. Strange. What? Sort of wobbly and excited? Sort of. Well, that's fear. Thorfinn does another meaning of fear. Is it sort of like a sinking feeling in your stomach? That's it. But you're not even afraid of death, Thorfinn. I know, I know. It's magic. What magic? I've heard of a magic that strikes fear into the heart so you cannot fight. Yes. I can feel it. I always feel like this. It's not magic. It's just a trick. Don't you feel it? Using magic, we we'll use a magic of our own. Where's Cloak Invisible? Why? I can't see it. Have you got another man in here already? It's in the chest. There isn't another man. Oh, no, no. I'll bring it back. No, Eric, you don't understand. No, Aud, it's you who doesn't understand. Half the Black has come to kill and destroy. We brought him here. We must no, stop Eric, him. Eric, you don't realize that... Goodbye, all. So, half then the Black's using magic, is he? Well, I have here a magic to match his. What is it? A magic dishcloth. To the oars! Oh! So bad if we knew what you were saying. She goes to she. Uru sign there. Uru sign to you. Uru no! Uru no! I can't go shame at there. Huh? They can't do that. They're not cock with you or not. Mimi's got that. Hey, 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 hey. Dita, you know, not. Maybe I'm not. I'm not. Dita, you know, not. See you, go to the moment. Not us. Maybe I'm not. I'm not. Eric! What magic have you brought? You'll see. 
open wide. All right. Here it is. Here's the magic from the king's dog. How did he do that, then? Do what? Vanish. He hasn't. Where is he, then? He's there! Oh, dear. I've done it. Oh, yes. What's the matter? Haven't you seen anybody fight before? No, they're usually too scared of us. Kill him. Yeah, that's a true berserk. Oh, I'm just building up to it, Dad. The fear's gone. Now you see me, now you don't. What? Well, come on. I... I... I'm the blacksmith's code. I am the air. I am the wind. You fight! Well, go on, it's our berserk! Well, give us a chance, Dad! Why don't you go berserk? I'm going to keep my eye on him! This is a life I can't do it! Thorfinn, look out! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You can't die. 
invent a thing. You see my grandfather in Valhalla? No, he's not. Not there. to stop you waking the gods, so I disguised myself to sabotage their plans. To save you, Eric. But it, it was my master Kettle's idea. Wasn't it, Kettle? Uh, well, I, I... Yes. I thought that... But... How is it that you can see me? You can all see me. What do you mean? Why shouldn't we see you? Well, I can't see you. I'm wearing the cloak invisible. Oh, there you are. You mean you could all see me this whole time? Weren't we supposed to? Oh. I, I feel a little... Uh... Oh, <laughs> Eric, we are grateful to you and to your men. Yes, we are. And there is only one way we know to repay you. Musicians! We would love to hear you sing again, but what we'd really appreciate would be if you could see your way to lending. Not giving, of course, but just lending us the, um, well, to be quite blunt, the horn resounding. It's yours. Is that it? Is there something the matter with it? No, no, it's just I didn't expect it to be quite so big. Well, it's not called the horn resounding for nothing, you know. Uh, you do know how to play the horn, do you? What? You do know how to play the horn, do you? Yes, sir, yes. Then um, I expect you will be uh, leaving first thing in the morning, eh? going out to water the dragon. Mm. Clumsy idiot.
blacksmith's code. Kettle? <coughs> what? What are you doing, Kettle Blacksmith? Get away, Snorri. What have you got there? The post! <coughs> Snorri! <coughs> Get... <coughs> This is not happening. What do you say? <laughs> now I know what some of you must be thinking. The day has come, we're all going to go down, etc., etc. But let's get away from the fantasy and look at the fact. We uh, do seem to be going down quite fast, Your Majesty. Not trying to contradict you, of course. <laughs> no, no, of course you're not, citizen. But let's stick to the facts. The threat of total destruction has kept the peace here in High Brazil for 1,000 years. So whatever else is happening, you can rest assured, High Brazil is not sinking. Repeat, not sinking. May I just make a point in support of what King Arnold's just said? Oh, we, we'd be delighted, wouldn't we? Yes! yes. Save yourselves! High Brazil is sinking! Oh, but you don't know our safety precautions. It can't happen. But it is! Look! I already appointed the Chancellor as Chairman of our full committee of inquiry into exactly what is going on. And in the meantime, I suggest we have our sings on. Good idea. Good idea. Relax! 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 It's times like this, my child, when this book cannot write. We must blow the first note. The note that will take us to Asgard. Over the edge of the world. We are going where only the dead have been before. Oh, <laughs> 
too hot. You're not using the right technique. No! No, I'm doing it! No, I'm not. Because you're always telling me! Telling me! Stop it! Why can't you let me do something for my son? Come on, 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 we're never going to get where we want to go if you fight. I don't blow it, you. Don't know what might happen. It has not spoken for a thousand years. Let's bring it to life.
I'm still seeing stars. We're all seeing stars. No, I was hit on the head. Head. Look at it. It's real. Hallucinations. Blow the second note. The second note. The note to wake the guards. Done what you came to do. Not quite. Blow the third note. The note to take you home. There's something I must ask the guards. No living man has ever entered the halls of Asgard. The gods will never let you return. I came to find my grandfather. I have to go. Then I shall come too. live without you.
Uh, you see? It's solid. It's real. Now do you believe us? But there's nothing there. If you're see oh, <laughs> you're all having me on, aren't you? It's Valhalla, where the warriors slain in battle go. Doesn't exist there. He hasn't got an ounce of faith in him. Mr. Wonderful. I've come to take you back to the land of the living. What a stupid idea. Why? Well, what's the point of being dead in the land of the living? I'll ask the gods to give you life again. Who's he talking to? Shh. Right. Have you ever tried asking the gods for anything? No. Odin? I'm busy. Odin. He's busy. Is that Odin? You'll have to wait till he's finished his game. Odin! We come from the world of Midgard. Clear off! Oh, wait, so. You have to help us. We don't have to help anybody. Fenrir the wolf covers the sun. Men fight and kill each other all the time. This is ridiculous. Why should we care? Because you're the gods. So? So bring the Age of Ragnarok to an end and stop all this fighting and bloodshed. Eric the Viking, the things you seek are not in our power. We don't make men love each other or hate each other. But you're the gods. <laughs> Look, Eric. I'll never forget him. The bastard! He died me mad! Is he dead? It is. You'll never be a berserk if you lose your temper! Thank you! Oh, I hate you! I hate you! You won, Sven. to try and stop men fighting, Eric the Viking. 
There is glory in battle. Riches to be made and won. Made by you, Loki. By you, Kettle Blacksmith. Don't you know, Eric, that's why he went with you. Ragnarok was good for his business. <laughs> It's not my business anymore. Fenrir the wolf has gone, Eric. But will men cease fighting each other? That is not in our power. I have one more request before we return. Return? You've set your foot in the halls of Asgard, Eric. You cannot return. But it's all in your imagination. Whatever it is. Oh, you're the only one who can Oh. You mean we must stay here forever? Stay here? This is Valhalla. This is reserved for those slain in battle. Yeah, we're the lucky ones. Yeah. It's better than dying of old age. <laughs> for you, there is only the pit of hell. Any weapons or we kill the children. Get them back. Well, now we'll kill the children anyway. Oh, my God. 